Today we'll make a couple of easy to make desserts that are set in a glass, look amazing and taste even better. So let's get into it. We'll start with the not tiramisu. This was widely popular at Imagine, the vegan cafe that Vidhi and I started in Mumbai. The tiramisu in the name references how this looks and the coffee influence. But the not clearly says that this is something entirely different. So what is it? For the base, we'll blend some chocolate biscuits with some melted vegan butter. Next, we'll melt one part chocolate with two parts of a plant milk and microwave it to form a basic chocolate ganache. We'll add some salt here to balance out the acidity in the chocolate and bring out a rich, deep flavor. Next, we'll whip up some non-dairy whipped cream till we have soft peak and set it aside. Then we'll add some hot water to instant coffee and fold it into the cream. And that's that. So let's get to the good part. To assemble, add in the chocolate base and tamp it down. Add the coffee to the biscuit layer. Next goes the ganache while it's still warm and pourable. Then we'll add a generous amount of the coffee infused cream. And you can finish with some cocoa powder and shaved chocolate box. Refrigerate for half an hour and then it's ready to serve. So, will the chef stay humble? Let's find out. Mm, this is so good. And the key thing is to get in all the layers. The crusty biscuit layer, top with the ganache, then the coffee cream. I think this dessert is heaven for chocolate and coffee lovers. Up next is another seasonal dessert from Imagine Cafe. This mango dessert was a crowd favourite and since we were based in Mumbai, we had access to some of the best mangoes in the world. But it works well with whatever mango you like. So let's get into it. This time, for the base, we'll blend some digestive biscuits. Last time, we used a vegan butter, but any neutral oil works quite well too. Next, we'll blend a mango and use this mango juice to infuse the cream. And that's that. So let's move to the good part. To assemble, add in the biscuity base and tamp it down. Next goes the fresh armrest, then the mango flavoured whipped cream, and finally a generous amount of chopped mangoes. We had some leftovers this time, so we added it to this mason jar and gifted it to our friend Ritika. You can serve this immediately, but again we prefer to refrigerate it for about half an hour before serving. The chef was super happy with herself last time around. So what will the verdict be this time? Let's find out. Mm. This is so good as well. Now I'm confused which one I liked more. I think if I didn't love chocolate as much as I did, I would have picked this one. The freshness of the mango mixed with the soft whipped cream. So good, fluffy and refreshing like this can be the perfect summer desert so that was two for two for vidhi now let me tell you why i love these desserts and why i think they are such a great format it's quick so if you have the ingredients handy the prep time and the assembly time can be a matter of minutes it's very forgiving since it's not a standalone dessert like a cake or a pastry or a tart it's much easier to execute the consistency of every layer doesn't need to be perfect because the glass provides the structure. This is why we could pour the ganache when it was still warm and pourable. And then it's set to the shape of the glass. Otherwise, getting the perfect ganache consistency can be quite challenging and time consuming. It's the same reason we could use a light whipped cream instead of something heavier like buttercream frosting. The blender here in our new home actually made a mess of the biscuit base. So we had switched over to something more primitive. And it turned out really great. And it looks great. Considering how little effort is required on the presentation, it's quite remarkable how nice these look. Baking can be very hard. Baking something as seemingly simple as a digestive biscuit or an Oreo cookie is nearly impossible at home. So these biscuits might be common, but they make for a fantastic foundation. Once you've got the format down, it can be very flexible. You can use all sorts of fruits and nuts, even granola, cakes and ice cream. We made countless variations of these dessert jars and so can you. Be creative with whatever's at hand. 
But I believe the reason these two combinations work so well at the cafe was because they were so simple. They target classic flavor combinations that deliver on taste without being too heavy. And that is a winning combination.